guys, this is another look. Natural bridal classic and a little more M top could be used for reception or for wedding if you're there. Um, we'll start with skin primer, then I'm using a light and sun skin concealer by Jean Nardell. I'm using lip primer by MAC Cosmetics and my husband made an appearance. And I'm using Jane Nardell Matte a uh, beautiful liquid foundation that I love so much. It's light, it's buildable, and then I'm setting it with nude color from Jane Nardell SPF powder, and then I'm using a little bit of a max full coverage foundation just to cover a little couple spots that are more stubborn. And then I'm using uh, this Jane Nardell's Contour Trio Pinkish Cheeks and contour and a little bit of highlight. Later I'll be adding some more cream blush just for more intensity but um, I like to kind of get a vision for what my face is going to look. Then we're adding eye primer, a MAC that I'm using and then I'm using Jane Nardell's brow powder which comes with this sort of coconut oil setting cream which just holds the brows and I'm using more MAC highlighter there on my nose. It kind of has that nice light tone to it and then well, I'm using this like a cream yellowish color to um, as a base for the eyeshadow. This is Jane Nardell kit. And I'm using a little copper deeper color for transition. It's kind of copper with a little sparkle. Um, and then we're gonna add the third shade which will be the darkest shade which I'm gonna be using matte shade for that. I like to mix matte and uh, sparkly colors usually. That gives a nice balance. Unless you're going for all sparkly look, might be too much. So now I'm taking that dark matte color and I'm lining the upper eyelid. I'm going to line the lower lid too. Uh, no, I do that. <laughs> the line, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna be creating a little bit, sort of like a small wing, like a little bit, little cat. And mind you, for some, might look like it's a big cat look, but um, really, you can go as far as you want, for as little as you want. You can blend it out. I don't really want harsh lines that much on this look, so I'm not going to be using the liquid eyeliner. I am going to be using pencil. But as well, I'm going to add some a little bit lighter color in the middle of the crease. And if you have like a light sparkle, like a whitish, goldish, you know, you can add color you like. And I'm using the white pencil in the inner upper crease there. And then you can use dark brown or black brown. You could even use maybe black pencil, cold pencil. And then I'm gonna blend it out. Okay, and then we're using a fine kind of flat brush to Blend that pencil with the eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna use some more cream blush, like I mentioned. Really love these Jane Ardell cream blushes. As well as eyelash primer from Jane Ardell. Add back, which creates thicker ball lash eyelashes even though I will be applying false eyelashes I still like to apply primary to eyelashes especially the bottom eyelashes makes them look much nicer and I'm using Jane Ardell mascara for wedding you might want to use waterproof mascara but you really don't have to and then I definitely can live without my fake eyelashes false eyelashes um, I ordered a these from Amazon they came in a pack of 50 really good deal and I kind of tap them together so they're 
nice and snug with my real eyelashes. I like to use white eyelash glue if you didn't know that yet. And uh, I'm curling my lashes here. I'm gonna be careful not to pinch and disfigure the ones on the sides or pinch your skin. And I'm using this pinkish Jane Ardell's lip crayon for the lips and then I'm going to be adding a little bit light plum color from MAC. But you could go, you know, nude or brown or really with this eye look, I feel like any lip color could go well, you know, even red or dark purple or just nude or whatever tone matches your skin mood and style. Now I'm using Jane Ardell lip gloss. This one I believe is called Sangria and then I'm adding a little bit of golden shimmer even more there. I wish I had, unfortunately I didn't have the nice sparkly little fine powder you could apply some glitter there but i had colors that would not match i ordered some but unfortunately didn't arrive in time by the time i wanted to do this video but i'll do that look some other time so i'm using to kind of enlighten even more the inner crease there inner wait no that's the crease and then adding some you know just out just so you can use concealer powder to clean up any fallout or anything. Hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know would you wear this for your wedding? And now I'm doing the amped up look with darker plum lip. This is a pro lipstick palette from MAC. If you do have any specific questions about products or colors I'm using, you can always leave a comment down below. I'll answer for sure. And now I'm adding a little bit actually more dark brown and even black eyeshadow there to make the look a little even more intense. Get that wing elongated, a lower lid, brush up the brows, and there you go. A little bit of concealer if you need to. And beautiful amp top for reception. And then you can add some gloss too. Add even more. Let me know, guys, which look you like better. I think this is a more intense reception look. Uh, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Have